I'm going to say, I'm writing a letter to my best friend. So you may not be aware of the importance or the purpose of letter writing due to this device. Right? Yes. So guys, welcome back to our English class. And today we are going to discuss a very important topic that is letter writing. And you all know letter is a written form of communication that is addressed to a specific person or a specific organization. And we can classify the letter into two types. That is informal letter and formal letter. So guys, what do you mean by informal letter? If you are writing a letter to your parents or your relatives or your friends, that types of letter comes under informal letter. And you should know one thing, informal letter is for personal communication. The next one, formal letter. If you are writing a letter to the principal of your school or the editor of a newspaper or application letter or the letter for a business purpose or an official purpose, that letter comes under formal letter. So guys, next let's look the difference between formal letter and informal letter. So guys, let's look the major differences between informal letter and formal letter. In informal letter, you can use short sentences because that informal letter is for your personal communication. So you can use short sentences. But in the case of formal letter, you should use full sentences. That means you should convey your message in full sentence. Then the grammar and vocabulary is not a matter in informal letter. But in the case of formal letter, you should use correct grammar and vocabulary. You can use contractions in informal letter. For example, the word I would can be used like this I apostrophe D. So you can use contractions in informal letter. But please don't use any kind of contractions in formal letter. Then you can use idioms in informal letter. But idioms are not allowed or you are not supposed to use any kind of idioms in formal letter. Then you can use active voice in informal letter. For example, I completed the application form. But in formal letter, you should use passive voice. For example, the application form is complete. See the difference. So you can use phrasal verbs in informal letter. But you are not supposed to use any kind of phrasal verbs in formal letter. You can use abbreviations in informal letter. For example, ASAP as soon as possible can be written as ASAP in your informal letter. But any kind of abbreviation is not allowed in formal letter. You are not supposed to use any kind of abbreviations in formal letter. Then you can use exclamation marks in informal letter, but no exclamation marks are allowed in formal letter. Then you can use imperative sentences in informal letter. That means a sentence can be start with a verb, but imperative sentences are not allowed in formal letter. That's the major difference between informal letter and formal letter. Next, we are going to discuss the format of a formal letter. A formal letter must have eight things in it. The first one is, yes, sender's address. The name and address of a sender should be mentioned here. And the second one is date. So suppose if you are writing a letter in 26th July 2021. So you want to write the date like this, 26th July 2021. So this is the most common format we used. And the third one is receiver's address. So name and address of the receiver should be mentioned in this part. And the fourth one is salutation. And it is the greeting used in the letter. Generally we use the word dear followed by the recipient's name 
Suppose you are not aware about the name, you can uh, write like this Dear Sir or Dear Madam. And the fifth one is subject. And it is what the letter is about. And the sixth one, it is the most important part that is body of the letter. And in this part should contain the introduction and the main content and the summary. And the seventh one is complimentary close. So you should conclude your letter with a complimentary close. And if you know that if you know the person, you can conclude like this yours sincerely. And if you don't know the person or if you don't know the recipient, you should conclude your letter by this word yours faithfully. Okay, then the last one, the eighth one, name and signature name and signature of the sender a formal letter must have these eight things so guys next i'm going to show you some of the important points we need to remember before writing a formal and an informal letter and some of the examples so let's see so now you can see a format of an informal letter in the left side and the right side you can see some of the important points we need to remember before writing an informal letter. So let's look one by one. The first one you should follow left alignment. It's important point while writing a letter you should follow left alignment. Then informal letter no need to write the receiver's address or name. So leave a line space after writing sender's address date and salutation you can clearly see in that in uh, the letter format so after writing the sender's address just leave a line space then write the date then leave a line space then write the uh, salutation okay then date format we already discussed that date format should be like 26 july 2020 like what you can see in the letter then in salutation, you should write receiver's name. In informal letter, definitely you know the uh, receiver's ad, uh, name, right? Receiver's name. So in salutation, you should write receiver's name like dear Manu. Then the body of the letter should contain introductory part, content and conclusion. It is very important. Then the last part in complimentary clause, please don't write apostrophe. That is the word yours is correct. Y O U R S is correct. Please don't write as Y O U R apostrophe. Yes. Okay. It's a wrong usage. So please don't put apostrophe in between your and yes. So yours sincerely or yours lovingly, yours faithfully use the word Y O U R S without apostrophe. That's the correct usage. So these are the important points we need to remember before writing an informal letter. Next look at the important points we need to remember before writing a formal letter. Here also you should follow left alignment. So it is very important while writing a formal letter or an informal letter you should follow a left alignment. Then here also you should leave a line space after writing address date and salutation then date format should be like 26th july 2020 as we discussed earlier then should contain introductory part the body of the letter should contain introductory part content and conclusion and in here also the word yours should be written like this y o u r s without apostrophe so guys you should remember these points before writing a formal letter so guys i hope you all understood how to write a formal letter and informal letter so thank you guys see you in the next class